visit. We are here again in Longview. We're towards just south of downtown in the Moberly area, not far from Moberly and Young. This house is about 2353 square feet, or 2533 square feet, sorry, 1939 built. So it's getting close to 100 years old. No HOA. We are on just about 0.42 acres. And we've got three beds, two baths, and two living areas with a dining area. And it is a pair and beam. The asking price on this one is $345,000. So let's go take a look. We're here in the backyard. We've got a really good sized yard on this old lot. Lots of nice big trees in the neighborhood. Be great for you know, if you had things to park or even put up a shed. Looks like they've got a room for tetherball or volleyball or whatever you need to do out here. So back over here, this space is a little workshop off the back and mechanical room off the back of the garage. We'll see that in a bit. And so you've got a really nice closed in backyard. You've got the chain link fence, this big magnolia tree right here. And so it's already fenced in. If you have pets or animals or people who behave like animals that need to be closed in the backyard. You can do that too, I guess. Okay. So here we have a really nice uh, patio room. Looks like at one point it was probably exterior just because of the brick and the way everything's laid out. And it looks like they've enclosed this for a nice little patio room with a tile down here. And so from here, we've got our front entry Good size family room, a little formal or informal dining over to the side here. A nice big open kitchen family area space. We've got a uh, flat top cooktop, some nice updated fixtures and appliances. This one, it was built in the 1930s, but they've done a really nice job. Looks like with the updating. We've got the black and brass fixtures. It's like maybe a quartz type countertop with your subway style tile there. Here's a quick reminder to hit that like button, subscribe and share with folks who will appreciate learning about Texas real estate and life in the Lone Star State. Check that link in the description to schedule a video chat with me and we hope to hear from you soon. Now back to our video. Out here, we'll take a quick look at the garage in a moment. Right here, we've got the laundry area. Nice, big, open thing window. Laundry area, you can fit some full-size appliances. Good amount of cabinet space and counter space. And you've got a door leading to the backyard from here. We'll take a quick look in the garage. So in here, we have a step down. You can fit a decent sized car in a full size vehicle. It's a little short here, maybe, because of your stairway, but that's all right. Not everybody has a big full size pickup truck anymore. And we've got, this is our chase for the HVAC ducting that runs into the home. Got another crawl space access here, some nice built in cabinets, double door, and a modern updated electric cabinet. And back here is a uh, little workshop area. We've got a little built-in storage here, some storage, more storage space here. And back in here, you could maybe use this for a little shop. It's also got some of your mechanical equipment 
in here and this door goes back to the outside. So we'll head back in and take a look. Make sure I've got all my lights off. Yep. Head back in. Take a look back up the inside. Some of the bedrooms and the primary suite. So we head back here through the kitchen. And then in this home, all of our bedrooms are along the side. We have a corner lot. We have the street at the front and the side. A nice big bedroom here with a door to the outside. And this one goes to a little porch area right over here on the side street. Yeah, our backyard, extra little porch area. It's really nice, getting a nice breeze through here right now. And so this faces pretty much south. So this will be a nice shady area during most of the day, during the hot part of the day. Put a bench or hammock or something out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your closet space right here. And then down the hall we have a nice little updated full-size bath. We've got our yeah, brass colored fixtures. You know, back from the 80s, that's popular again. So we've got the brass and black fixtures. We got a subway tile that looks kind of cool. Looks nice. A full size tub. Throne over here. And a few little cabinets. And some nice updated fixtures. Got a little linen closet without doors here. Another bedroom. A little view of the backyard and the porch street side. Bifold closet. You can put some rods and shelves in there pretty easy. Here is our patio room again that we looked at earlier. And then we've got the back part of the house where we're going to get to the master suite just a minute. We've got this like a cedar closet here. Window. We've got room for a rack and shelves in this space. And then back down the hall would be the kitchen and the front rooms. Got a mechanical closet here. And here's the good size, nice big primary suite. And we've got some more cedar lined closet. A couple rods, you can always add more rods. And shelving cabinets in there if you wanted to. So it's a good size room. He could definitely fit plenty of furniture, chair, full-size uh, king bed. And here, I still have some room to move around. So lots of windows, great views of the backyard and the big trees. That's nice. Got a nice updated primary bath. Again, with our quartz counters and backsplash. Got brass and black, almost black. It's like a bluish, smoky black trim color in our cabinets. Yeah. Throne area, nice floors, look like the marble style. Again, similar to the other tub and shower, but much larger for the primary bath. And some built-in shelves and nice big area with a little bench. Linen shelves and nice updated fixtures. So that's what we have on this one. Looks pretty nice. So in our family room, we do have some really nice, big, open, bright windows. Got a looks like a red tip Fotenia. I'd probably maintain those quite well, or get rid of them, put something else there. But that's a 
foliage thing, not a house thing. Um, your dining room, nice updated fixtures. You've got plenty of room for a big table here. Some nice built-in shelving on the walls, plenty of receptacles. So this would be a nice gathering space in here and it's open to the kitchen. So it's a cool, cool house. I like how they've updated it with the modern touches for such a home that's almost 100 years old. Let's take a look here. There we've got a little rose garden, or those aren't roses. So we've got a garage, looks like they've added a post in the middle. We've got little dormers, those are gonna be in the attic. We don't have a upstairs here. So we've got nice quiet neighborhood, kids playing down the street. Yeah, it's really nice. And it's October in Texas, so the weather's nice too right now. So we've got a fire hydrant right outside. Nice space down here. And we've got this nice little porch area on the side that we saw from earlier. And this nice big corner lot with, it's pretty quiet over here, but you're not too far from town. And, you know, downtown's just over this way. And we've got Young, Moverly. So you've got some good size infrastructure roads to get you around and you're far enough away that it's nice and quiet. You don't really hear too much traffic and you're still close enough that you have all the amenities, groceries and downtown and shopping and all of that. So it's a cool house and thanks for taking this little tour with us.